How's it going everybody? Welcome back to our Ratchet Gladiator Let's Play. And in the last episode we went to the Valix Belt uh, to activate the lights and we did perfectly. Well, apart from a few little jumping errors. But I think the stars of it we're gonna not gonna buy any new weapons, but I think we're gonna buy the mini bomb uh, Omega mod. So then we can uh, put it on the uh, Arbiter, the Arbiter, no, sorry, extend, extend, the rocket's back a bit more punch. Uh, we're also going to check if Al, have any, Al has any upgrades for us before we fly to planet Torval. No. So yeah, we'll just charge Roost back to where we need to be, then we can... So yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Where are you watching from? You know, having a wonderful day, relaxing, while watching some Ratchet Gladiator content. Shows a hoverbike up ahead, but you will have to deactivate a force field to gain access to it. The traffic, the, the tracking on the, uh, on the on the rocket. Where is he? So what's good about the minimum is it allows us to fire one rocket and then have loads of other things that do damage. You know what I mean? Whereas the shock mod works on other weapons, not not every weapon works it works on. That was a fail. Well, stop comparing me to Ace Hardlight, because that's not very nice and that's not very fair. You know, you can't just go, it's like going, oh look, this guy's scored this many goals, but he scored so many more, so he's not better, he's, he's not as good as him. Oh, how it is. Yes, Clank.
That's three. Halfway there, left a bit. This and this isn't as easy as it looks. <laughs> Final one. There we go. Skill point hard to hit. But we got him. We got him. In a minute 53, so it, it nearly took us two minutes. We need to capture the nodes. of painstaking searching just to find it. Ratchet, if you activate the vector transmitter node in that area, I can triangulate the beacons to locate the ship. There's, there's like there's one. We'll go this way. to the rockets. This creature is clearly much too dangerous to be set free. He must be destroyed. Wait, what makes me dangerous? Because you don't like me? Because I'm winning? You know, Juanita? We might need to have a talk about this sometime. Why... What caused your exact hate for me? You know? It'd been very nice to know why you don't like me. Because when either it's very hurtful that you don't like me. Very hurtful. Oh. No, no, it's fine. We took a little, it was a little bit of damage because I did not notice they were there. Oh, the flip dodging of the lasers. It's like that scene out of Resident Evil when they do the, when the lasers are coming for them and they do the epic dodge.
Get on the control node, get on the control node. Get on the control node. Get in, mate. Open, mate. Because you can just front flip into the middle of it, uh, uh, along in the middle of it, you can stand in the shield. But one more challenge uh, to blow up the blast of fresh air. Dallas, you shouldn't be betting on where the statue is. One place you never think to look inside a statue. And if no challenger thinks, oh, it might be in the statue, you'll never have the whole, ooh, ah, will it? Will it be in the statue? Which means they'll always die and they'll never get past that get past here. Ratchet, you have now qualified for the Vindicator We have one challenge. Okay. And? Uh, turret trouble. How long is this round? The end this round?
There we go. I'm sorry if it looked like I just I was just like probably hooked in. It was because it's like I'm trying to make sure I don't I don't get I don't get destroyed by all of the enemies. So we'll fly to but we'll fly back to here. We won't be doing this in this episode obviously. But we'll fly back to here and then we'll because we've got Temekin experience the cutscene. Last week we saw the spectacular deaths of leading contestants Agent Bizarro, Plasma Woman, and Orange Comet. Now the low seated Lombax known as Ratchet has surged to the top of the dread zone rankings. Frankly, no. I can't believe the little furball made it this far, Juanita. He is Deal with a happy sucker, isn't he? He's you wanna kill me? He's also a threat to children, endangered species, and common deer. That's not true. I've saved galaxies. Dolphins and whatnot will be able to breathe a little easier once Ratchet has been cut down to size by the eviscerator in this week's Nah, we're gonna eviscerate the eviscerator. Seconds against his razor sharp titanium blades. Mmm, I'll bet he doesn't have any trouble getting a close shave, Juanita. <laughs> you get it? Shut up, Dallas, you're not that funny. <laughs> He's like, ha ha! And she's like, no. Just no, dude. Dude, dude, just no. They really don't like me. Is it because I've survived? Well, <laughs> since you asked. I have 16 terabits of tri-directional asynchronous bandwidth on my core CPU. Ooh, that is a lot of throughput. Oh, uh, well, I... Mm. Hey, Clank. I, I, I will call you right back. Who was that? Oh, uh, nobody, really. Was that the tech droid you were talking about? Hey, did you get those blueprints? Y yes. Oh, yeah, you the man. Uh, but I have learned that many other heroes are imprisoned at this facility. We must help them, Ratchet. Well, why don't we have them? Why can't we help? We can't. Why can't we help ourselves first? That the security monitors tend to go inactive when there is a big arena matchup. So if I fight one of the exterminators in the arena, it'll buy you some time, huh? It is dangerous, but it is the only way. No sweat. Those guys are toast. Dry toast. Nah. Uh, so yeah. That'll be where we end it, so thanks for watching, remember to like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya!